All right, guys, what's up? I said that I was... Uh, where is the camera on this thing? There it is. I said that I was going to answer some form spring questions, so I'm going to be doing this every day, actually. Um, go over to formspring.com slash hitmejp to ask me a question, and I'll probably answer it. So uh, I don't know how many a day we're going to do. I've got 76 in the inbox right now, uh, so let's say... We'll start with 10. We'll see how long that takes. So first question... Uh, since your time doing State of the Game, what has been your most memorable podcast moment? Uh, Jeff's Artosa speech, anything and everything from the drunk cast. Uh, favorite moment was probably... Probably the horses moment, I guess, would be the, the, the favorite one uh, from the drunk episode. Go, go watch that. You can YouTube it. Just uh, type State of the Game horses and it'll come up. Uh, that was pretty good, though. Um... So these, I'm not actually, I'm just going up the list, so I'm going to answer every question. Uh, if you could only, only ever use one or the other for all time afterwards, knife or car, taxi's fine, just not you driving. Um, I don't actually use a car that much. I have a car, but I don't use it too much. But I feel like a knife could be replaced by other utensils, so I'm going to go with car. Car would be the, the good pick. Um... How did you get into the esports scene? Uh, I got in working at Gottfrag as a writer five, six years ago when I was in high school. Uh, worked at various events as a writer. Uh, nope, not really any camera work until about a year ago. Uh, everything else was print because my journalism, or my, uh, what am I trying to say? My degree from college, uh, I have a bachelor's in journalism, uh, communication arts journalism track. So. Uh, I just wrote a lot, and eventually I started doing video work for some reason. Uh, how'd you get started in the Tur StarCraft 2 scene? I've um, always been a big StarCraft 1 fan. I watched, I uh, played a lot when I was like 13, uh, but then Counter-Strike and Quake 3 came out, so I went to that. Uh, but when StarCraft 2 came out, I was excited as everyone else started playing a beta, and MLG needed to do something with it, so I started doing show matches, and that's how I got started. Uh, do you have a regular day job? Or is working with MLG your main profession? Uh, my regular day job is MLG. I work um, pretty much every day. I have kind of weird work hours. Uh, but yes, my main job is working for MLG. This is the MLG studio here. I can actually turn this around and kind of show you everything that's going on. Um, there's that stuff over there. I probably should have some stuff that I probably shouldn't have, but whatever. Um, anyways, moving along. How much do you like Whataburger? Whataburger is pretty good. Uh, I think In-N-Out's a better hamburger, but I haven't had uh, fast food in about three months now, so kind of miss it. I could go for a, a Whataburger. Whataburger is also nice because it has Roots, uh, Barg's Root Beer, which is really hard to find, honestly. Uh, have you ever been, have you ever been so far even as decided to go to look more, I, I don't know question doesn't make sense. Uh, what's the craziest thing that's happened at an MLG after party? Ask Sundance. That's, that's my answer to that. Uh, MLG Sundance on Twitter. Tell him I told you to ask and he'll probably fire me for it. Uh, how's the love life these days with dating a fan be awkward? It would kind of be weird. Um, I don't think it would be awkward or anything, but I don't know. Love life is fun. It's good. Uh, do you honestly feel as if drama is good or bad for esports? Necessary evil or unnecessary burden? Um, it's going to happen. I mean, there's nothing you can do. People are going to see drama as uh, whatever you want. I just got a weird message on AIM. I can't read it to you guys, though, because it's confidential. Um, well, whatever. I'll have to wait. Uh, let's see. Drama's, drama's gonna be something that's always there. You can't not have it. Like, it's gonna be there. Uh, is it good or bad for esports? It, it can be good, uh, but it, it depends on how people spin it. Uh, what happened to Louder? I don't know. I actually live in Galveston now, which is pretty close to Houston, so maybe I should look him up because I know he lives in Houston. I don't know. Uh, show match versus Sir Scoots, please. Sir Scoots has never played a game of StarCraft on Masters Random. I don't, 
I don't think that would be fun. Uh, where did you grow up? I grew up in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, I moved there when I was probably two. I didn't really have a choice in the matter. I was born in Odessa, uh, Texas. Um, what does JP stand for? Seriously, I can't find the answer to this anywhere. Um, usually I keep this a secret. Not too many people know, but it is John Paul. That's what it stands for. I have no middle name. My first name is John Paul. Uh, hey, JP, do you think if I started up a podcast where I talked about the good old days of Brood War with a bunch of the old guys, your life would suck less on State of the Game? I don't understand where people get this idea that I don't like listening to them reminisce about Brood War. Um, I actually like that a lot. I, I was a fan of all these guys before I even knew them, so it's awesome to see them talk about that. So uh, if you want to start a podcast with that, you can, but I'd probably listen too because Brood War is pretty fun. What first piqued your interest in esports? Um, probably going to QuakeCon in like 2001, 2000. Was it? It's either, I think it was 2001 um, when I went to QuakeCon during the days of like Zero Four, Zemus, and Fatality, watching them play. Um, it was a lot of fun. And I've kind of always just enjoyed um, watching people play video games. I think it's pretty cool that people can play video games. Uh oh. My Xbox game froze ago. Uh, yeah, I just, I like watching people play video games. Uh, have you ever been to Europe? No, I have not. Uh, I'd like to go, though. I was going to go to Sweden for WSVG uh, when I worked for them, but they closed, so... Oh, well. Uh, how many questions have I done so far? I've done a lot of questions. Uh, will, F will SC Center ever come back? I actually did watch nearly every day. Thank you for watching. It might come back. I don't know. Uh, I've stated publicly that it's it's a lot of strain for what the way that I want to do the show. There's a lot of graphics involved. Four to five hours of work probably each day for a graphic artist. And right now I just don't have the resources to pay someone to do that. And MLG doesn't see it as a valuable asset to pay someone either. So if the money comes through, then we'll start doing the show again. Until then, no. No SC Center. Uh, Slasher is actually starting to show up pretty soon, so... I don't know when that's going to be. What's up, Mark? I'm just recording questions, so. Uh, one more, then i got to go. Uh, here we go. At MLG, would you, rather, would you rather like a Korean-dominated tournament like now or less Koreans and foreigners actually have a chance? I understand the GSL exchange program, but me and a lot of others are getting sick of seeing Koreans on white dudes. Um, no, I think the Koreans need to be there. Um, foreigners will eventually catch up or they'll just fall behind uh, I'd rather watch the best players play instead of being bored and watch terrible players play um, but yeah, that'll do for this episode I don't know how many questions I just answered I'll go back and count or something uh, but we'll see you guys next time thanks for tuning in forumspring.com slash at me, JP see you guys then, I'm out, peace